If you're looking for a video editing laptop in 2020, I have a lineup from the best budget laptops all the way up to the high-end laptop. So whatever budget you're on, you're in the right place to find the laptop for your needs. If you're new to the channel, my name is Benji Kaiser. This is where you're going to find the best tech and tools for creative professionals. So if that sounds like your kind of place, consider subscribing and ring the bell so you don't miss out on any of the future videos. Also, if you're curious about the exact specs or pricing of any of these models as we're going through this video, you can head down into the description below and click one of those links. Now, if you do use that link, I will get a small commission, but at no extra cost to you. And that's what keeps this channel alive and the helpful content coming your way. One more thing I want to mention before we dive into the video is if you want to know why I'm recommending these specific laptops, hang on to the end of this video because I'm going to talk through some of the specs and say what specs are good for what type of video editing. So maybe 1080p or 4K or 6K, that type of thing. So hang on to the end of the video and I'll explain why I've chosen these laptops on the list. All right, so let's dive into the laptop categories and the first one we're going to look at is the budget category. All right, the first laptop we're going to look at in the budget category is the Acer Aspire 5. Now, this laptop is good for 1080p, but I really don't recommend it for 4K. It just doesn't quite have the power to produce 4K without that lagginess in the timeline and very long export times. Next on the list is the Acer Concept D, and this is the i5 model. Now, what I really like about this model is the 100% Adobe RGB color gamut range and 100% DCI-P3 color gamut range. I've yet to find a laptop on the market for this price point with this amount of color accuracy and power all in one tightly knit package. Now, the next category we're gonna jump into is the performance budget category. This laptop, the Acer Predator Helios 300, was actually my top selling laptop of any laptop on my channel in this past year. The reason being is it packs a ton of power for a great price. Now, I will mention one thing. It doesn't have the best color accuracy. It has around 73% of the color accuracy gamut range, but it is a well-priced laptop with great performance. I recommend this laptop for 4K video editing any day. Next laptop on the list is the Concept D3 and the Concept D3 Pro. Similar to the basic budget category, except just with more power. This is the i7 version, and this i7 version comes with either a GTX graphics processing unit or a Quadro graphics processing unit. Now that Quadro graphics processing unit is built specifically for creative professionals. So it's gonna have more power, be more suited for say Premiere Pro or DaVinci Resolve, or even something like After Effects. Probably one of my favorite laptops currently is the Concept D3. Again, this one comes with 100% Adobe RGB and 100% DCI P3. Next on the list of the performance budget category is the Asus Rogue Strix G. Great laptop. Again, not the best color accuracy, but it packs a big punch for a good price. Definitely like this laptop. It comes with either a 15 inch or you can get a 17 inch model depending on your needs. All right, the next category we're gonna jump into is the best build quality category. These laptops have great build quality and great performance. The first one on the list is the Dell XPS 15. This has the processor, the GPU, the build quality, and the color accuracy you need for a great video editing laptop. The price isn't too outrageous either, so if you're curious about the exact price, uh, currently you can head down in the description below and check that out. What I really like about this laptop is the all aluminum body with a carbon fiber key deck. I think it's a really great mix of materials. All right, so for one of the most powerful laptops in this lineup is the Razer Blade 15 Studio Edition. Now the Studio Edition has the Quadro RTX 5000 GPU. It is a very powerful laptop. It is well built. It is a huge competitor of the MacBook Pro in my opinion. Uh, it's just a solid machine. I'm really, really digging it this year. They have two speakers on the side of the laptop with dual on each side of the keyboard. Uh, so it's a great laptop, great user experience. Following that up is the MacBook Pro 16 inch. You can get either the i7 or the i9 model with the 5300M Radeon Pro GPU or the 5500. Now, I've run some tests on the i7 16 gigs of RAM with the 5300M. It's plenty powerful for 4K video editing. I was actually very surprised. I bought the base model because I was curious what kind of performance I would get out of that base model and it did not disappoint. So if you're gonna be doing some basic 4K video editing, nothing outrageous, uh, and even just like exporting to 1080p quite often, I would go for that base i7 model with 16 gigs of RAM and the 5300M. I'm curious about my overall review so you can actually see what that laptop is capable of, you can head on over to my channel or check it out in the YouTube cards above. 
All right, next up is the high performance category. This is the Asus ProArt StudioBook Pro 15. Really like what Asus is doing this year. They're really optimizing their laptops for the creative professional. Some of their laptops even come with the Xeon Intel processor. Those are the processors that are found in servers that are running like 24 hours a day. So the reliability of those Xeon processors matched with a Quadro GPU makes for a really powerful, really reliable video editing laptop. Now, they are a little bit more expensive, but the build on those is just powerful. And then you can edit 6K video on that thing and it handle it quite well. All right, so high performance, continuing on the lineup, we have the Gigabyte Aero 15. This one also edits 6K video very well. It has the RTX 2070 GPU Studio Edition from NVIDIA and an i7 9th gen processor. I'm hoping they're gonna upgrade that processor to the next 10th gen when it comes out, so keep an eye on that, and that laptop will be a great buy for video editing. All right, now for the battery life category, and this is the Microsoft Surface Book 2. This still holds the prize, in my opinion, for the best battery life laptop because it has two batteries, one in the screen and one in the keyboard deck. To complement that, it has a great i7 processor and a GPU that's capable of doing good video editing. So if you're a video editor on the go, it's gonna be my best recommendation for somebody looking for a long battery life if they're out in the field quite a long time and can't get to an outlet. All right, so now that we've walked through the lineup, let's talk about the in-depth specs. Why have I chosen these laptops? First and foremost, the laptops that made the list are laptops that have good color accuracy. They have either DCI-P3 100% or Adobe RGB 100%. Now, that Acer Aspire 5 is not the most color accurate laptop. I put that one in there because that is a good budget buy. I actually have another video of the best laptops under $1,000. If you're curious about any laptops under the $1,000 range, but you don't care too much about color accuracy, you can check out that video. So color accuracy, number one. Next, the processor. I think it's very important to define the differences in the processors when you're looking at a good video editing laptop. There is a mobile U processor. It's very popular in business laptops or student laptops that are working in Microsoft Word, taking notes, surfing the internet. And then there's the H processor that you find in gaming laptops and workstations. You wanna make sure if you're getting a video editing laptop that you're really encouraging yourself to go with an H processor. They're gonna have more power, they're gonna have less lagginess in the timeline, they're gonna export faster. And if you can even get up to that Xeon processor, for instance, like mentioned in the Asus StudioBook Pro, that's gonna be even better because it's gonna be even far more reliable. So the processor is super important. The mobile processors are good, that U processor, but they just don't have the just consistent performance that it takes to run great video editing laptops. RAM, random access memory. This is important and I encourage people to get at least 16 gigs of RAM. You can get away with eight gigs of RAM if you're editing 1080p and you don't do it a lot, but you just have to do it sometimes. But if you're a video editor, if you're somebody who's wanting to edit video, either, whether it's for YouTube or whether it's for social media posts, recommend at least 16 gigs of RAM. The reason is if you run DaVinci Resolve or Premiere Pro, it takes a lot of RAM to run those programs. So if you do anything else outside of running that program, your computer is gonna get really laggy, it's gonna slow down. You're not gonna be able to run your program alongside of other applications. So 16 to 32 gigs of RAM is a great spot. If you're gonna be getting into 6K video, you can might even boost it up to 64 gigs of RAM, uh, but really 16 to 32 is the sweet spot for video editing. Hard drive. I recommend the solid state hard drive. It has faster read and write times, it has faster save times and load times. Solid state hard drive is gonna be more reliable as well. So without a doubt, solid state hard drive and the GPU. So a lot of the laptops I've recommended in this lineup, they have studio certified GPUs. What that means is Nvidia is starting to really realize how much creative professionals need laptops that are built for creative professionals. So the GeForce GPUs were built for gaming. And then what Nvidia did is they took them and they applied the same technology to video editing. But video editing versus gaming, some big differences there. So that's why you're now seeing these Quadro GPUs come out. Now, if you see a laptop that is NVIDIA Studio certified, what that means is they've taken those gaming GPUs that were originally created for gaming and they've now optimized them for programs like Premiere Pro or DaVinci Resolve or Maya. So 3D animation, motion design, video editing. They're really starting to partner with creative professionals and make sure that they have the equipped gear that they need to accomplish their tasks or accomplish our tasks. Um, so if you're picking a video editing laptop, try and find a brand like the ones I mentioned here that have studio certified GPUs in their laptops. Some laptops will just grab the GPU and not really get that collaboration going between Nvidia and the manufacturer. 
A lot of brands are starting to really make some efforts for creative professionals. We wanna support those brands so we can continue to get better gear for our careers. All right, again, if you're curious about the exact specs or pricing of any of these models, you can head down in the description below, click one of those links, and again, if you do make a purchase, I will get a small commission, but at no extra cost to you. I appreciate when y'all do that because that's what keeps this channel alive and the helpful content coming your way. Please comment below, ask any questions. I love to answer them. I'm very active in the comment section. I'm Benji Kaiser of BenjiKaiser.com, and I'll see you here on the next episode.